Welcome to Crafts Time. Today's crafts, diamond pop-up card. Materials needed are colored paper, or bond paper, scissors, coloring materials, ruler, and marker. Step one, make a square. To make our square, you fold your paper, your bond paper or colored paper, you fold it like so. So you're gonna make a triangular figure. And uh, grab your scissors, and as you can see on the flap here, you try to cut it as straight as you can. If you don't know how to use a pair of scissors, do ask assistance from your sister, your brother, your ate kuya, or your mom or dad. It's definitely fine. Now you have your square. Next up is to fold all of the sides of the square. So first we're folding it diagonally and then later on we're also going to be folding it parallel. Make sure you fold it down neatly because this is very important so that you can have your diamond shape later on. Next up is to keep folding and folding and folding. I use my scissors to really neatly fold it down because like I said, it is important to have that diamond figure. This folding part is a little tricky, so if you don't know how to do it, again, you can definitely ask assistance. So what I did is I fold it down like this, attach it to that other side of the diamond. If you do it correctly, you're going to have something that looks like this with the opening on the top. Next is to cut, cut, cut. So you fold it down and then you fold it halfway. Make sure this side is the open side. The open side is where we will cut. That is the open side there as you can see and that is the area that we will be cutting. Make sure you cut it as straight as you can so that you can have that diamond figure later on. If you cut it on the open side, you know you did it correctly because it's going to look like something like this when you open it up. Step four is to design your diamond. So what I did is that I just traced it out I used my ruler and my marker to make and trace out these lines. This is important so that we actually have the diamond figure. And just trace along those lines. You can get very creative in this area because if you're using bond paper, you can color the paper however you want to. You can make it your you can color it out with your favorite color, you can make it an ombre effect. So this is the part where you can definitely be creative. But since I'm using colored paper, I'm just tracing out the lines here, as you can see. Step 
still tracing out those lines. You can color the paper, you can design it however you want. So now you have your own diamond pop-up card. Make sure you put the verse inside of the pop-up card. Thank you so much kids and have a great day ahead. Goodbye!